Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Church at Home Lesson 11 for Pre-K. Today, I've invited my friend David to join us again. Everybody say hi, David. Say hi, David. Hi. Today, we're going to learn about what it means to pray. David, do you know what it means to pray? No, you don't? All right, let's read and find out. Today, we're going to read a book called What is Prayer? What is prayer? Have you ever thought to yourself, what does it mean to pray? As you close your eyes and fold your hands and think of what to say? God is my friend. Prayer is when you talk to God, just as you would a friend. Prayer is a conversation that never has to end. So boys and girls, when we pray, it's like talking to a friend. Trusting God. Don't worry about words you chose. Just pick the ones you know. Every time you pray to God, you trust in Him will grow. The Lord is near to all who call on Him and to all who call on Him in truth. Psalm 145, 18. You can pray anywhere. Pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion, Ephesians 6, 18. You can pray to God anytime and anywhere you go, at school, at church, the park, or your home. Your voice, the Lord does know. So Jesus knows your voice. God hears you. There are many things to pray for. Don't be afraid to start. Remember, God is your Father who loves to hear your heart. And boys and girls, you can pray and you can talk to God about anything. This little boy, he's asking God, Heavenly Father, help me study for my test. So he's praying about school. Thank you for my friends. You can pray for your friends. Help me understand this math. It's so hard. So boys and girls, we can talk to God about anything. Pray for your needs. You can pray for things that you need, like water, food, and clothes. Don't hesitate to ask because the Lord already knows. So we can pray for our friends and we can pray for things that we need. Thank him for what he gives us. Pray and thank God for who he is, perfect in all his ways. It is always good to begin by giving him your praise. So boys and girls, we can pray and we can thank God for all the things that he gives us, like our moms and our dads in our homes, right? Pray for the sick. Pray for the Lord to give his strength to all those who are sick. Ask God to comfort hurting hearts for healing to come quick. So boys and girls, we can pray for people who are sick and people who need healing. Pray when you're afraid. How many of you get afraid sometimes and scared? Boys and girls, God wants us to talk to him when we're afraid. When you feel worried and afraid, it's really time to pray, for he will keep you safe and send his angels on their way. And the Bible says in Philippians 4, 6, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. So Jesus wants us to talk to him when we're afraid. We can ask for forgiveness. Ask Jesus Christ to forgive you if you've done something wrong. For the Lord does not turn away. His love for you is strong. So boys and girls, we can pray and we can ask Jesus to forgive us when we do something wrong. Forgiving others. Oh, look. Hmm. So maybe she's praying and asking to forgive her for being mean to her. Ask God to help you use kind words to love others every day and to forgive those who've hurt you, for this is the Lord's way. 
all know God's love. Pray for God's light to shine on the earth, for all to know God's love and to follow God and his ways with wisdom from above. So we should pray so that others can know the truth about Jesus, right? And to know God's love. You can pray. God always listens when you speak. So come lift up your voice. Freely come to God in prayer. It really is your choice. Let it be done. And in the at the and at the end of all your prayers, Amen is what you say, which means, yes, Lord, let it be done in Jesus' name you pray. And then this little boy's jumping, he's saying, amen, which means let it be done. So boys and girls, did you learn what it means to pray? David, did you learn what it means to pray? You did, well, tell me. When I pray, I'm talking to God. <gasps> That's right. Now, David, when can we talk to God? Anytime. <gasps> That's right. We can talk to God anytime. David, what can we talk to God about? Anything. <gasps> That's right. We can talk to God about anything. David, your memory verse today is Jeremiah 29, 12, and it says this. When you pray, and we're going to bow our heads. Can you bow your head? Very good. Very good, David. Yay. When you pray, I will listen. And we're going to cup your ear. So cup your ear like this. Very good. Very good. Or your other ear. Very good. Say, when you pray, I will listen. And then you cup your ear like that. Very good. Very good, David. All right, can you do it with David? Everybody say, Jeremiah 29, 12. When you pray, and we bow our heads, very good, I will listen. Good job. And boys and girls, and David, that, mean, that verse means that when we pray, God hears us. All right, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thank you for joining me and David today as we learn about prayer. We'll see you next week.